personally, um, when I, one of the first things I loved about this campus was just how beautiful the environment was. Just a general love of the environment on our campus and how it was so green. I realized not a lot of people knew about what was happening. I think it was April when um, um, Mark Hazel, who's a manager at Grounds and Gardens, he asked me, he told me about the new life science building coming up and he asked me to investigate um, the trees here and whether any of them are protected and if it's any significant to the university, the site. When I found out about this, I was like, oh, it's quite, it's quite disheartening that something like this is happening but under my nose and I can actually do something about it. <laughs> We started a petition against the development of the new life sciences building because that life sciences building has been planned over the woodland that we're in right now. And the building of that of of the of the building will necessitate um, the cutting down of various old and and also indigenous trees on the site. First of all, we have uh, exotic trees, uh, which are not. Well, people always think that they're exotic, they're not indigenous, so we should cut them down. But um, these oak trees have been here for 140 years and throughout those years obviously they have um, not only given us oxygen and beautified our campus but yeah, they're here from the start, from the origins of the university so they are quite important. And we have um, this tree uh, in Afrikaans is called, um, <laughs> called Wachabiki, it's a Wachabiki tree so that's an indigenous tree. Um, uh, we have a couple of those, I think eight of them around on the edges here. And um, we have a couple of um, sneeze words and ink berries. I don't feel that the that the process was transparent. I don't. I, I didn't know as an ordinary student. I didn't know at all about what about about what was happening until last week, kind of thing. When I, when somebody mentioned it to me in passing, and I feel like this is um, this is a very important issue. And the fact that it wasn't put brought into the public space says something about about the prioritisation of environmental issues or lack thereof. In, um, at, at Rhodes University. And so what I'd like to see and what I'm going to campaign for is uh, a greater prioritization of these issues and a greater presence of environmental actors when these decisions are made. Like people on campus didn't know what was happening and I think the university should be more transparent when it comes to things like this. Um, to know what, what the university community feels about whether they actually care if trees are being cut down, if they would want to do something, if they want their voices heard. Or if they're okay with nothing happening.